Hello. Today I'll show you how you can connect your, your Oracle Analytics Cloud instance uh, with the NetSuite for advanced reporting. For this, uh, I'm going to be using the Suite Analytics Connect, which is uh, an extra tool that needs to be provisioned. So this is an extra cost tool, and um, you will, of course, need the Analytics Cloud. Before you move forward, uh, I would definitely recommend you to go into the official documentation because it includes very important information such as um, your general role limitations. Right now, the data source that you can connect to is netsuite2.com and users having or roles having two-factor authentication or with the administrator roles uh, will have some sort of uh, error messages when you connect into when you try to connect your analytics cloud. So first of all, what I will do is I will go into the company and uh, enable feature. Analytics and Suite Analytics Connect. This is the first step. The second thing I will do is I will create a role, a new role for this particular uh, use case so for this one what i found is i can go with the ceo role and uh, have the ceo's permissions and just add the suite analytics connect so i'll just go with ceo i'll do User roles, manage roles, new role. Okay, not like this. Um, user roles, search. Just leave this one, submit. Then I will customize the CEO. And this is going to be CEO reporting. And I will just go to the setup and add suite analytics connect and sweet now to connect read all make sure the level is full otherwise you'll get problems okay and now i will go into my user i just have my second user here and then uh, i'll edit this user access add ceo reporting save okay now i go back into my dashboard as you can see now you can see suite analytics connect in your dashboard but this is my admin so what i'll do is i'll log in with my other user then choose CEO reporting. And then you will again see the setup suite analytics connect here. Let me click on that. You will see the connection details. So now I will move on to my analytics cloud create connection just whatever data source you want select the service host then the port data source is netsuite2.com password account ID is here and role ID is here let me click on save we have the connection created now we go into the data sets. 
and then you will be able to select the schemas. One important note here is when you select or if you, you create your new role, make sure you don't add any spaces because when you add spaces, then you the, the, there's just a problem in the analytics cloud that it cannot create the schema name correctly. So here's what here what I will do is so you this should be the schema name should be just one uh, one word, no spaces. And then you can just bring in whatever you want to bring in sales ordered sales, tax items, invoiced, etc. My environment doesn't have any data currently, so I cannot see any data but you will be able to, and then you will do the reporting on analytics cloud, as simple as that. So yeah, this was it. So to sum up, make sure you go through the considerations for roles and permissions, uh, create a new role from an existing role that will have access to the data. Make sure the new role name does not have any spaces. So employee center, for example, will have problems. Um, make sure you add in the setup Suite Analytics Connect and Suite Analytics Connect Reroll, and then you will be able to add your data source. Make sure you don't have two-factor authentication with for that particular user, and make sure that that user is not an administrator that used to be working with NetSuite two NetSuite.com as the legacy data source, but NetSuite.com NetSuite two.com it doesn't work. And uh, yeah, this is it. Thanks for watching. And let me know if you have any questions down below.